Okay, David, why do you think children need to have physical exercise? Why is it important for children to be active? Well, I guess proper exercise is very important for children every day. It can not only improve your moods, and, but also decrease the uh, possibility of uh, disease. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, do exercise every day can help us get uh, phys physically active and uh, feel energetic all day. Apart from that, if you stick to it, you will be strong and rarely get sick. Yeah. It can even keep you in a good mood to face every problems. Very good. So my answer is to uh, do proper exercise every day and have a great life. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good answer. That's exactly what we want to see. This kind of a question is an agree or disagree question. Mm -hmm. Essay question or discussion question. So you're going to see these a lot as you go through high school, as you go through college, university, if you, um, if you continue to take language courses, fluency tests, agree and disagree is one of those very, very common mm -hmm. um, questions that you'll be asked. And the proper way, or one of the more efficient ways to respond is by beginning with the topic sentence mm. where you mention what the topic is and your thesis. In other words, you agree or disagree, right? Mm. Uh, this is not the one. This is it here. So yeah, you say here, I guess it's very important, right? Mm. And then you go into the reasons. It can not only improve your moods, but also decrease the possibility of disease. Mm -hmm. Um, first of all, exercise every day can help us get physically active and feel energetic. So you've given one reason, two reasons, as like your introductory paragraph here, and then you explain more, mm -hmm. um, more benefits, more benefits, more benefits. Okay. Um, as far as grammar goes, uh, it's a little hard for me to explain, but I'll try my best. Mm -hmm. Think of it in terms of clauses. Do you remember what the clauses are? The independent clause, the main clause, and the dependent or subordinate clauses? Do you remember those things? We might not. I, I don't remember if I talked to you this about this or not. Let me let me let me pull one thing up real fast. So this file is called the reference. It's a quick reference containing all of the definitions. Okay. Um. Maybe not all of them, but all of them that that you'll need to know for now, right? Mm -hmm. So the parts of speech are those word classes, nouns. Adjectives, verbs, nouns come in all kinds of different varieties from proper nouns, common nouns, uncountable nouns, countable nouns. Mm. Different kinds of verbs, different kinds of adjectives, or adjectives doing different kinds of things. The parts of a sentence, right? Mm. Okay, let's read this together. And the subject is the person, seen, or... And Entity, thing, basically. That performs the action in a sentence or about with something is stated. It is usually a noun or a pronoun. For example, in the sentence, cat is sleeping. The cat is the uh, subject. Yeah. Okay, so um, the subject in the sentence is a noun. Mm hmm. And um, it can also be a noun clause. So, in this sentence, in this sentence, this is the adverbial subordinate clause. Uh, the, in the sentence, there is the subject, which is the thing about mm. which the sentence is yeah. about, right? 
Yeah. And the predicate is where the verb is. The verb and everything connected to the verb. Okay. The predicate is the part of the sentence that contains the verb and provides information about the subject. Mm -hmm. Now we have uh, either independent clauses and dependent clauses or independent clauses and subordinate clauses. Okay. So we recognize that in this sentence here, this is the independent clause and this is the subordinate clause, right? Mm, yeah. So here is the verb. This is the verb in the sentence. Right? Mm. I mean, um, we have help and get and feel. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so this part here, let's call this one. And this is two. Mm -hmm. And this is three. Yeah. Okay. So one okay. is, one is the subordinate. Clause, which is the adverbial or the um, discord. Yeah, the, let's just call it the adverbial for now. Two mm, is the yeah. subject and three is the predicate. Mm. So the subject here is do exercise, right? Yeah. Um, remember yeah. that if you're going to use an activity, uh, yeah, um, then it's a gerund. I, I know. Yeah, it's I, called a yeah. gerund, right? So it needs to be I, I, doing exercise. Yeah, I found my uh, mistakes. That's great. At least yeah. you know what you're aware of what it is, right? So yeah. the subject needs to be a noun, uh, noun or noun clause, which can be, you know, a noun or a pronoun mm. or a what we call a verbal or a gerund. First of all, doing exercises can help us. Or you could say, first of all, if you do exercises, it can help you, right? Or if we do, yeah. it can help us, okay? Yeah. So those are two ways of... Uh, including this activity as a noun. I like doing exercises or doing exercises is amazing. Let's move on to question two. Describe your daily routine. Do you feel that you have enough time during the day or not? Mm, well, I guess a strange phenomenon happened to me. Mm -hmm. I often feel tight on weekdays, but I have plenty of time during the holidays. On weekdays, I have a lot of learning tasks uh, to complete, including writing, homework, uh, field trips, uh, which often takes a lot of time. On weekends, I feel that time goes by slowly and bored. Mm -hmm. I think I need to adjust my current stage. Uh, uh, actively finish the task during the working day and look for a more interesting scene during the holidays. Okay. Time goes by slowly adverb. And mm. this is an adjective. So yeah. maybe just take that out. Time goes by slowly and I feel bored or time goes yeah. by slowly and um uninterestingly or whatever i think mm -hmm. i need to adjust my current state uh this should be connected by actively finish so again you've got another mm -hmm. thing here actively finish the t i think i need okay so Finish this sentence by doing this. To connect this sentence with a comma by actively finishing. 
So now we have mm -hmm. kind of connected these uh, subordinate clause. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. not. We don't need the comma, but we do need the preposition. Yeah. Uh, Uh, okay, so just a few little minor adjustments here. What kind of hobbies are popular in your country, David? At present, the sports major of our country is paid more and more attention by the people. I think having a rich and substantial interest in sports is very beneficial to the, uh, to the people. An interesting and rich sport can help people exercise, relieve stress, and create some achievements for the purpose of love. I think basketball. Uh, uh, I like basketball very much. I am uh, fascinated by the various uh, various styles of dribbling and shooting in yeah. basketball okay. and scoring. Uh, scoring makes me feel excited exact uh, uh exer sorry excited uh excited and happy in addition i think all hobbies are uh high or low as long as they like it just to do it mm -hmm. now uh you know what an article is right mm -hmm. the and a and an Two kinds mm. of articles, the definite and the indefinite. We use the indefinite article if the um, noun is gener general or unspecified. So um, an indefinite article is used to talk about something in general. Mm. It's used to talk about a general thing or something unknown. Now... Um, so it goes on to talk about when to use some as what they call an article. I would call that more of a determiner. Um, and any. Definite. When do we use the definite article? Talk about a specific person or thing. The zero mm -hmm. article can be used with plural nouns to talk about a class of things. A class of things mm -hmm. means a group of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, when referring to a class of things or a group of things, generally we won't use the definite article. We will omit the article. Mm. Okay, so at present, sports. Uh, mm. And people don't need the definite article here. By yeah. people, okay, and sports. Major of our country is paid more and more attention. So I think what we want to do, we want to move this. Mm -hmm. The subject in this sentence is not sports, it's people, okay? And mm -hmm. the verb is paying attention. So actually, we want to change it to, at present, the adverbial subordinate clause, the subject, more and more people, mm -hmm. uh, plural, are, present tense, paying, paying mm -hmm. more attention to sports. So the subject. Yeah. The tense and the verb, the predicate. Mm -hmm. I think having a rich and substantial interest in sports is beneficial to the people. Again, we refer to the people in the kind of like political sense, like the people will rise up. Mm -hmm. The people are a class of people, the proletariat versus the elite, right? Yeah. But uh, we're not talking about that. We're just talking about people. So mm -hmm. it's very beneficial to people. An interesting and rich sport can help people exercise. See, you didn't need the the there. Relieve stress, mm -hmm. 
keep your commas consistent, and create some achievements for the purpose of love. <laughs> create some achievements for the purpose of love. All right. I don't see anything grammatically wrong with that. Um, uh, is, is the Chinese English. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Believes and what I would say instead is an interesting and rich sport can help people exercise, relieve stress, and it's okay. You didn't make a mistake here. An interesting and ri interesting, having a rich, substantial mm. interest, having a rich, having Colorful. Yeah. Well, no, 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 that's right. I think having, I'm going to just shorten a little bit, an interest in mm. sports is, da, 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 okay, yeah. an interesting sport, it can help, can help people exercise, relieve stress, and um, feel a sense of purpose, um, achievement, and instead of love, maybe like fulfillment and mm -hmm. satisfaction. Yeah. We don't want to use some achievements. We want to use just achievement in general. And instead of use the purpose of love, just use a different word. Mm -hmm. I like basketball, fascinated with various styles, scoring. In addition, I think all hobbies, high or low, as long as they like it, as long as, okay, so again, like, I think all hobbies are high or low. Mm -hmm. um, as long as you like it. All hobbies, instead of are high or low, just all hobbies are equal. I think all hobbies are equal as yeah. long as they provide... Uh, enjoyment mm. for people. Okay, so we're just yeah. we're just fixing the translation. Mm. 